Hi, uh, my name is Priscilla. Just wanted to welcome you all to my channel. I hope you're doing well and having an amazing day. Um, I'm assuming if you're here, it's because you wanted to learn how to set up your own SCCM lab at home. And we're definitely going to get to that. But before um, you did that, I just wanted to create an intro video to let you guys know who I am and why I'm doing this. Um, so just to provide a little background, uh, I have a master's degree in cybersecurity uh, that I just received in June and a bachelor's degree in information management. But my work experience has mainly been in administration and customer service. So I'm definitely uh, interested in getting into the field and, um, you know, actually using SCCM professionally. I created my own SCCM lab at home and it was a lot of trial and error and a lot of researching and trying to figure out what I needed in order to actually set this up and have it working on my own computer. Um, I ran into like hardware issues, like I had a very little RAM, so I had to get more, more, a computer with more RAM. Um, you know, I was looking for updated videos, a lot of them were pretty old. So I ran into all of these issues and I kind of just like, while I was doing it, I was like, I really just want to create a video that's uh, straightforward, that's updated, that people who are in my same position can use and hopefully uh, create their lab at home and start just using it. And I also plan on um, doing stuff with SCCM, like um, actually building collections, pushing out updates, you know, just on like on a test in the lab environment, um, just to learn how to do it. So if you go to an interview, you can actually say, hey, I've used SCCM, I've created uh, my own home lab, I'm familiar with hypervisors. Um, I'm familiar with um, with Windows 2019 server, you know, with with SCCM, with Active Directory. So it's just like to help you when you're out there looking for a job. You can put this on your resume, you could talk about it in an interview and just hopefully helps you land that job that you're looking for, get some experience and um, just help you grow professionally. That's really my goal with this. And um, you know, I, I, I had done this back in July, after I finished my graduate program, back in July and August, and like, um, you know, then life happened, and I was just like not in the best state of mind, um, and just, it was just a hard time, really, these last, these last few months, but I'm now just starting to feel better, I'm back to myself, you know, I'm driven, and I'm, I'm motivated to actually um, get this going, to, to put this out there, contribute to the community, um of people who like also post there's a lot of people on, that i found on my own journey um who just uh, post videos and they have these channels dedicated to helping people who are interested in getting into the it field um the ones that stuck out, stuck out to me are kept tech and then it job skillshare you know if you haven't heard of their channels you definitely should check them out um but yeah i just want to be able to contribute to this community to help somebody who was also in my position to hopefully make it a little bit easier when you're doing it on your end. Um, you know, I'm very new to the field. I don't know a lot. So if there's somebody out there who has more experience and who has some comments or feedback, please feel free to let me know. Um, I welcome those. Uh, I think they'll, they'll be very helpful for sure. Um, but if anything, I hope I can help you out. And uh, hopefully this is a this is this good, good set of videos for you to just start working with SECM, System Center Configuration Management. Uh, now called Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Management, um, on your own at home, uh, working with uh, hypervisors. We're, we're going to be using VirtualBox and free software. Um, so you know, just just hoping that it helps you guys out. Um, feel free to subscribe, to like, to comment, whatever whatever works if you if you want to. I appreciate you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Uh, take care.